Hey everybody, it's Cynthia from Cynthia's Creations. Tonight we're going to do another Easy Diva on the foam board. This is the lady we're going to be working with. And I'm going to show you guys how I cut out the foam. So she's already glued to the board. And this is actually a piece of the board that I had left. What I'm doing is because with this lady here, I like to put the mesh on the nape, on her nape. So I'm going to line my foam board up to her nape. And then I'm going to use this circle reef wire so that I can get a, a perfect round shape at the top of our head. So I'm going to use this tool to put an indentation around the circle. Just around the top because I'm going to use this board here for her nape. See that? And you can use scissors or you can use your rotary cutter. I'm going to use the rotary cutter. It'll be a lot quicker to cut this piece out. And we're going to be using, I'm going to be using 20 inch cuts again. haven't seen the other video <clears throat> when I did the foam board diva please take a look at the playlist I did a different mesh wrapping method so here we go guys this is what it's, it's looking like and this is what we're gonna attach the attach the mesh to Do our twenty inch cuts. And I'm gonna show you a quick way to get a lot of mesh cut at the same time. You lay them both down, roll them out, and then you have your two pieces. usually start with 12 but 12 doesn't go too far so I'm going to cut 15 so so far this is 6 I'll be back after I finish cutting the mesh hey guys so our mesh is all cut up today we're using 6 inch mesh I forgot to tell you guys that and the color is copper and I cut my 12 pieces, 6 inches, and I'm using my favorite method, which is the scrunch method. So if you don't know the scrunch method, you can watch this. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, that's the method I used on most of my divas. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And 
you get the hang of it. Another reason why I want to do this method is because the first Diva I made with the foam board, using the foam board instead of the reef wire, I used a method that I've never used, tried before. So if you're looking for a cost efficient way to make these, the foam board is the option for that. And as you can see, I'm still using my same piece of foam board and there's still enough left to cut out for another diva on the canvas. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I attach this to the foam board. And then we're going to dress her up with some bling and some fabric today. What you're going to do is you're going to use your tool, something with a point, and you're going to poke your two holes. Poke your two holes, put your pipe cleaner through. And twist it up. Twist it up in the back. Twist it up in the bag. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to go off camera to get her done. When I come back, the headdress will be done. We'll be complete and then we'll attach her to the canvas. So you can space space it, make it as full or as airy as you like. You're going to fill up the whole thing and then we're going to attach her to the canvas. So I'll meet you back here. Okay guys, so now her hair is finished. This is what it looks like on the front and this is what it looks like on the back of that foam board. So now we're going to attach her. This is so lightweight. Attach her wherever, wherever you would like her to be. I'm going to cover a lot of her eyes. And then I'm going to poke two holes through the foam board. So I can attach her to the canvas. So you just poke two holes through the foam board and straight through the canvas. Pull it through and twist tie. Twist it. Fluff it back up.
You guys see, I added some black in her hair. This is one I've done before. She's kind of popular. Put two in the back, and that should, that'll hold it because, the, again, this is so lightweight. It's so lightweight. Didn't get all the way through that canvas. And her hair is done. Her hair is completely done. So we're going to do her makeup. You guys ready? I'm going to do her makeup. And I'll be right back. Actually, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to use. I'm going to be using... Some Mod Podge and some bronze glitter. And I'm going to make her face up and then I'll be right back. You guys remember how I did the makeup? You just outline, outline her lips, her eyes, wherever you're going to put the makeup. Just outline it. Sprinkle your glitter. You can use marker. You can use paint. You can use anything you like. Or you can leave her lips just the way they are. I'll show you the lips and then I'll do the rest off camera and I'll be right back. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the button so you won't miss any of my videos. Some people say this lady has a Diana Ross vibe. I say she has a Tina Turner vibe. She's one of my favorite. She's actually the first, the first uh, silhouette 
that I had. So she was the main one that I was working with all the time. This color is actually called Chocolate Diamond. Chocolate Diamond. We're using Chocolate Diamond. Be right back. Okay, everybody. She is almost done. Her makeup has been put on. I trimmed her earrings out. And I want to show you this next step. I found a piece of fabric. I'm not going to put flowers on it. We're going to dress her with some fabric. Found a piece of fabric. So I cut her out. You can cut it out however you want her to be dressed. You can make it full. You can just do her neckline. And you can use you can use Mod Podge for this or I am using hot glue to apply. And what I will do is I'm going to go over it with decoupage to stiffen it up. I think I'm going to trim her out, trim her neckline out with some bling. First time I stood up doing a whole video. Won't be the last though, guys. Won't be the last. Okay, so I'm going to trim her out. Trim her clothing out. it didn't look finished so she needs some trim Remember, you can burn the edges of your bling, but be careful because it will curl up on you.
Hey guys, I got some Dollar Tree flowers. Remember the Dollar Tree cookbook flowers? We're gonna put we're gonna put a flower on this lady. You can clip her on. You can glue her on. I'm gonna clip her on. And I'm gonna glue this one to the front. So pop the clip off. Apply some glue. And she's finished, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Cynthia's Creations. Have a blessed day. See you on the next one.